And earlier on today, as I was stuffing my fat face, not for the first time, I spoke to uh, a couple of members of Madder Rose, Mary Lawson Guitar and Vocals and Billy Cote uh, Guitar, after they'd done what I thought was a particularly good set. Sorry, once again, I seem to be eating as uh, I conduct one of these uh, interviews. But you say you say you just come back from Holland. Yeah, uh, we flew in from Amsterdam this morning. We played at the Lowlands Festival last night. I remember a festival that I went to years and years and years ago. That was, uh, in fact, in about 1967, I think, in Utrecht. Was it in Utrecht? No. Oh. I Oh, I forget the name of the town, actually. It was about a half hour outside of Amsterdam. Oh, because it was called Flight to Lowland Paradise. Mm -hmm. And uh, was that the name of the thing that you did? It was, oh. yeah. They must be trying to re resurrect to revive it. Revive that, <laughs> yeah. Not a good idea. Mm -hmm. How did it go? You, did you go down well? It, it did go over well. It was yeah. fun. We played at the small stage, um, and there were maybe a thousand people there. Do people, oh, people know the songs and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, we had a few people mm -hmm. there who uh, knew us. Mm -hmm. So that's always reassuring, isn't it? When you come on stage in the country for the first time and you start... Absolutely. Oh, yeah, exactly. one or two people clap along with the intro and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty nervous last night, just just being so out of our element, you know. We've only played... Outside the States, we've only played London those couple times. And uh, it was pretty intense, you know. Yeah. But so it was, it was, how did you think you did today, then? Today was nervous. weird. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I saw your guitar <laughs> strap break at the end. Though, yeah, the, well, the peg that holds it in, so I couldn't even put it back on. Oh, right. <laughs> came right out. <laughs> but were you, are you pleased with the performance? Or? I think energy-wise, we did really well. Uh, I don't think Technically, musically we yeah, did It wasn't all exactly that great. Um, the tightest thing we've ever played, but yeah, and it's I a little overwhelming. There, I mean, if last night was overwhelming, today was overwhelming in a much different way. You've got the stark daylight, you know, and so many people. And You've not done anything like that before? Never, no. no. <laughs> not at all. Because uh, a couple of people, uh, including uh, one of my sons, came up and said that they thought it was uh, the best set they'd heard so far. Oh, that's oh, nice. No, that's really nice. Uh, and that was, uh, you know, obviously unsought uh, criticism. Mm -hmm. So uh, I get the impression from what I read in uh, American papers and indeed increasingly in the British papers as well that Matter Rose is seen as uh, one of those bands that's about to happen, whatever that means. I mean, is that you, do you feel that yourselves? Do you feel that things are going stupendously well? at the moment yeah i mean um it seems like our next album which will be out in march is is being pretty anticipated and um our record company and, and so forth is they're really gearing up to um get behind it depending on how it sounds i suppose so yeah it seems like next year could be a pretty cool year for us so uh, what, sort of, what sort of things do you do what sort of gigs do you play in the states at the, at the moment i mean what sort of places do you play Lately, we, we seem to draw, like, you know, 500 people in, in big cities, and we did a tour this spring that a lot of it, we drew, like, 20 people, you know, and, like... In, Good for you, that, though, isn't it? Oh, I mean, yeah. with character forming and all that kind of stuff. Exactly, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how But hateful as well, probably, <laughs> at the same time. So what sort of towns do you draw 20 people in? Cincinnati. Uh, yeah? <laughs> towns with no radio stations. Uh, <laughs> Where towns else? that there was no promotion for us and stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was a funny tour because we went, you know, we were mostly headlining in small, small places and then we got to open for Belly about a couple of weeks into it and uh, so we were really used to there being nobody there and that first Belly show there were about a thousand and we were really thrown. So what, uh, what's, what's the response do you get from a crowd that's come to see Belly? Do they just want you to get off? No, a really good response actually. I think a lot of people compare us to them. So uh, who, who else do you get compared to? Mm. I mean, obviously, um, there's some ludicrous ones. Yeah. They sound exactly like Led Zeppelin. Right? Right. I mean, you always right. get people just say, think, how can they, probably particularly music journalists, do you think, how on earth do they get there Where from here? That, you know? yeah. well, I like it when we get compared to, like, the Velvet Underground, for and example, Jesus because um, I always felt like the Velvet Underground, from what I've heard of them on record, like, they were about songs first. And then once they had a cool song, they they tried something weird with it. You that's know, right, they started messing about it. Yeah, them. and that's the direction we're, we're trying to go in. It wasn't so much on our first record and so forth, but the next record, we're, we're taking that tact a little bit. We, we have like 14... Fast songs, and yet your band is the slow songs that I really like best. So, and they have, they have a kind of... I hesitate to say this, because you're, you're, are you actually from New York? Yeah, Because yeah. there is a kind of... 
a kind of vaguely countryish feel to them. <laughs> I, I mean, do you? Feel I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, we don't consciously do that, but it definitely. It's that kind of spooky sort of country. You know what I mean? That's. I mean, not, I don't mean kind of Nashville country, but that feeling yeah. that you used to get in those old black and white westerns when they're all sitting around the campfire with a pot of beans, and <laughs> you know that something spooked the horses. You know, there's something out there <laughs> kind of feel to it, which I really like. It's it's so weird because like I write like three quarters of the songs and I'm like really anti roots and country music just as it pertains to my band you know what I mean um but somehow that element comes out when everyone joins together and it plays does. it I, I tend to look at the slow songs as having at least in, in intention when I write them as having more of an urban feel like a slow song in terms of like in an urban setting if you know what I mean and perhaps it's just your voice that's got a I think that's, that's a lot of yeah. it yeah. Yeah. Could be. Now, why is, why is uh, my favourite of your songs uh, it seems to have two separate titles why is that I mean it's Mad Rose on oh. why, is, why, why did the title change between one record and another um, that happened because when we first got together we, were, we just demoed our songs and one of them was Matter Rose mm. and uh then when we started to pass the demo around, we realized we needed a band name. We chose the name oh, Matter Rose, that. and then when we decided to put on the record, we didn't really want to have a theme song, so we... Oh, well, I'm glad you cleared that <laughs> up self-conscious, for me. Uh, <laughs> self-conscious reflex. I see. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up for me. I, I'm worried about that. Well, thanks very much for uh, coming in, and um, I hope you'll be back at another one of these festivals, but further up the bill, and I, I rather suspect that uh, unless something goes disastrously wrong, you will. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right.